With your mercy, Gurudev, we are reading verse number 91 of Radhara Sudhanidhi. O Sri Radhike, your eyes are like sweet fishes that swim around in an ocean of rasa. I will repeat this. O oh, Sri Radhike, your eyes are like sweet fishes that swim around in an ocean of rasa. Aha ha! Srila Prabhupada Saraswati is full of, full in emotion. That's why he is saying, Aha ha! What can I say? Your breasts are like two chakravaka flamingos in the nectar lake of your body. Your breasts are like two chakravaka flamingos in the nectar lake of your body. Oh, Surat Tarangini means Ganga River of Love. Oh, enjoyer of love play. Your face is like a blooming golden lotus flower. May the waves of your splendid mercy meet in me. O oh, Sri Radhike, your eyes are like sweet fishes that swim around in an ocean of rasa. Aha ha! Your breasts are like two chakravaka flamingos in the nectar lake of your body. Oh, Surat Arangini means Ganga River of Love. O oh, enjoyer of love play, your face is like a blooming golden lotus flower. May the waves of your splendid mercy meet in me. <coughs> Commentary The verbal root rat means to worship. That's why Radhika means the girl who is the greatest worshipper of Mohan. Without Rasheshwari, the queen of the Rasa dance, the Rasa dance cannot give pleasure to Krishna. 
This is a statement of Chaitanya Charit Amrita. But even just two people cannot make a festival complete. For a festival, you need many people. So Mohan played his enchanting flute to invite millions of gopis to the Rasa circle. It is said, Radha Saha Krita Rasa Avata Karana Ara Sapkopi Gana Rasopa Karana Sri Radha is the cause for Krishna's savouring the flavor of his pastimes. And all the other gopis are serving as additional ingredients for that savour. In Chaitanya Charit Amrita is stated, Sri Rata is certainly worthy of her name, meaning Supreme Worshipper, because she makes Rasa Rasika, Krishna, relish all the mellows of the Rasa dance by going to meet him in the company of all different kinds of gopis. Svapaksha, her own party, Vipaksha, her rivals, Suritpaksha, her friendly party and Tatashta Paksha, the neutral party. The word Suratarangini in the text refers to Sri Radha, who is like the river Ganga flooding both her banks to kula means bank of the river or do two and kula families both of her family and the family of her legal husband both of them she is flooding with her powerful stream that has become even more forceful by being filled with the monsoon rains of nectarian passion for her beloved. In the Ganga, there are no lakes and oceans. But in this Suratarangini Radha, there are both oceans and lakes. Her eyes are like fishes that restlessly swim in the ocean of ecstatic love 
vermohren. While she goes out, her eyes look around restlessly. Where is my Mohan? Her breasts are like two reddish Chakravaka flamingos that stand in the nectar lake of her transcendental body. All these things can be understood only when one gives up one's identification with the material body and accepts the transcendental mood of the gopis. Sripad prays, O Radhike, may the waves of your splendid mercy meet in me. So here ends the commentary on verse 91. So I will read again the verse. O Sri Radhike, your eyes are like sweet fishes that swim around in an ocean of rasa. Aha, ha. your breasts are like two Chakravaka flamingos in the nectar lake of your body. O Suda Suratarangini, Ganga River of Love. O enjoyer of love play, your face is like a blooming golden lotus flower. May the waves of your splendid mercy meet in me. So Gurudev, there are some questions here that are arising. So first of all, I would like to ask you why Radha is called the enjoyer here, the enjoyer of love play. Usually Krishna is called like that. So why Radhika is called enjoyer? Read that line. <laughs> o Sudattarangini, Ganga River of Love, O enjoyer of love play, your face is like a blooming golden lotus flower. Tarun Baba, Tarun Baba is also here. But go, <clears throat> you, the question is for you, Gurudev. I'm not, I'm nothing. I can, 
I can only say that sometimes I think in this verse there's also very, very deep meaning, but I'm not qualified to talk about this deep meaning. But you understand it, good. If Sura Tarangini has some very, very deep meaning in the amorous pastimes, and this is actually not really meant to be uh, for a broader audience because Surata Tarangini is very, 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 very intimate. And in these pastimes, certainly there is also role play and they change roles. So sometimes Krishna plays the role of Radhika and sometimes Radhika plays the role of Krishna. So she is also sometimes the taking the role of heroine and she is dictating Krishna what is to do and so she also enjoys that. So this is what I understand but I know that this is very very deep meaning and very very hidden secrets which is really not for a broader audience but I understand what when, when I read it and when Baba spoke about this that Surata Tarangini is the most intimate love play and in this love play, they change roles. So sometimes Radhika becomes the aggressor and Krishna becomes the one who is receiving. So in this kind, I understand that actually, certainly Radhika can also enjoy. But of course, it will not change the point that Krishna is the supreme enjoyer. But Radhika sometimes comes into the position as a heroine and she is then taking control. But like I said, this is a very, very intimate subject matter. More I cannot say, Gurudev. Maybe this is how I understand it. You are right. I don't know the Sanskrit termini for this change of roles. Maybe Suniti knows the termini is when, when they change these roles. One is the pa passive one, one is the active one. But I definitely know that this change happens in the intimate love play. But we should not go deep into intimate love play. This is for much more... I cannot go into this, but this is what is meant here. This word Surata Rangini Baba very wisely didn't go very much into this, but on the other side, I, I, I remember verses where Baba is going into it. And Surada Tarangini means, means what you read, but it goes much deeper. Much deeper. So we go further, understand. Maybe that's why the question arised. Aham Raman, Aham Rabbi, who is Chaitanya Chaitanya. Then Rai Raman and the Mahaprabhu draws them out. It's only for meditation. <laughs> Yes. Right. Guru, if there's another question, uh, why the Rasa dance is called the crown jewel of all Leelas? Because, as Manjuri, you may think that isn't it higher the more intimate it is? Read the. Uh, uh, but then I will explain you. There are how many Sakis? Which Bhav Saki? There are different kind of Sakis. Uh, so there are Swapaksha, her own party. On, but listen one thing. Radhika expands herself. In her party, she creates one party, her group. Radhika. 
and one is she create be paksha she herself create this expanding no out no at this you look of name different sakhi but she is there you imagine It's hard to imagine that somebody is um, um, playing the role of her own rivals or even expanding in her own rivals. It's not uh, understandable in this world, actually. World or not? Is it not? It is material. <laughs> yes. She so the, the, the uh, Radha and Krishna is one and they become half half and half alladini shakti and krishna is raso vaisa to one soul two body one what they become one soul one body and two body means radha krishna and one body means chaitanya two soul one body one soul two body one place i am reading two days before radha krishna is half and half in one one body So half and half means twenty-four half kamagati means twelve and twelve. Twelve is this side, twelve is that side. Not one side. And half is there. That is more plus. So Manjiri is half. Because they are half, they are not half. They are full, but they share half and half. So this is twenty-four half. <laughs> so Radhika is attracting to more people. That is the karma guys. Uh, and will you put some on this or other personality? Line half and half. This was Silama. Huh? Bilaba. Bilaba. Wow. It become crystal clear. And half and half, and then half. One which side is half? Manjir is half. <laughs> Gurudev, I, my, I was also thinking when Goravani was saying this that for us in the material world it is hard to think about playing the role of a rival. But I had this question also one day. But I and then I, I understand that actually we have to very very much appreciate these these positions of rivalry because they augment. They make the rasa of Radha and Krishna even more pleasurable. I was always thinking, oh my God, what is Chantravali doing? Why is she there? My God, I was agitated. But when I understood that they are only there for the sole reason to, to make even more rasa for them, so I can, I can much better understand it. And one thing is all to, to create the For the happiness, for the Krishna, she is doing. Sa paksha, bi paksha, and surit surit paksha. Surit paksha. And mm -hmm. you see, and and tatashta paksha. Tatashta, yes. She is marginal also. You no see all two, and she expand that. So, so he is 
पूजनीय फर आदि फर मंजरी सखीर और वर्षिप बिकॉज देसी राधा दे मंजरी इज देसी राधा इन सखी ऑल्सो दे आर सो क्लोज टू राधा दे कैन फील इट You see, so beautiful service of Manjri. <laughs> It's only for Krishna. <laughs> And you feel this in a Manjri bhav. You see, is it so gifted? And Gopi Bhav, you see, Gopi Bhav is this <coughs> that first the Gopi means female, female nature. So Gopi means to be in the soul consciousness is a Gopi Bhav. The moment we come out from the our sadhak deha in a spiritual body. This is Gopi Bhav. Then you see, ego and all activities will not disturb you. Gopi Bhav is important, and then Gopi Bhav, you want to which area you want to go? You want to go to Paksha, B Paksha, Srit Paksha, or you want to go to the Dasi of Radhika? And it's also natural for Sakhi to only think for Krishna because they are expansion of Radhika. Why not they will think for Krishna? This Radhika is there, so they always think for Radhika and friendship with Radha. But thinking for Radhika, Krishna, they all think for Krishna only, so they are natural. Is the natural nature of Radhika. They have to do it in different form, different name, but they all are Radha. And Tarun Baba, I found this uh, quote of uh, in Vilapa Kush Manjali, where Baba is explaining this. You want me to read this? Read, read. I want. Listen. Yes, good. The Acharyas say this is a verse seventy-six uh, of Vilapa Kushmanjali. The Acharyas say that a higher higher level of prema is called pranay. In this stage, the loving couple is no longer aware. That they are separate beings. Wow. The very, very life, yes. That Tarun Baba is telling. Yes, this is pranay. It's called in Sanskrit. It's called pranay. And actually, uh, I was speaking with Gora Sundara. Also, this pranay is uh, the miracle, also of Maha Mantra that Chaitanya gave to us, because they are there. Together, but they are also there in separate, and they are always, according to our meditation, the vilas, their play is uh, revealing, because yeah. they are also Radha and Krishna, but they are also Chaitanya, like Gurudev was explaining, and that is very uh, relishable. That uh, at that stage, uh, when we are in this uh, mood of feeling. Them in the Mahamantra and the Vilas, then it becomes very relishable, and um, yeah, that was our meditation one of these days. The so very the life, yes, good. How the sadhak who is in bhajan, they see their prana. Mm. That is bhajan, Mahamantra. Mm. They see. Their prana means the play of them. What they are doing in his manjiri saru. 
last line. He is watching. <laughs> yes, Gurudev, this is also what you speak about when there is Rama. When Rama is, uh, the color is green. No? Rama. Rama and the beauty in Rama is we are there also as manjaris. Nobody can come so close that the manjari. We come part of it. Like a Rama is Radha Krishna. Rama is Radha Krishna, Chaitanya. Hare Hare. Hare Hare is this calling. What are you sitting there? <laughs> it's come to me. To Hare Hare. Hare to Hare. To the Dati of Prasad. Godev, one thing also just came to me that when Gauravamani was asking this question, how we can understand that here Radhika is called, oh, enjoyer of love play. That, that means as Manchari, Sada, Manchari Bhav Sadakas, when we read this line, we, under, we have to understand it's a matter of consciousness. What is actually, what is Radhika enjoying the most? Radhika is not enjoying the thing for herself, but actually what is she enjoying most? She's enjoying most that Krishna is happy. So she is actually enjoying not her own Madanakya Mahabhav, but actually she's enjoying that Krishna is most happy. So she enjoys also, but not in a selfish way, but for him. Everything she does right. is mattered in that manner. Mm -hmm. Right. So the very life force of this pranay is Vishramba. Srila Jiva Goswami writes, Vishramba Priya Janena Saha Svasya Veda Mananam. Vishramba means that the lover feels him or herself to be non different from the beloved. Yeah. And Srila Vishwana Chakravati part explains this further. Vishramba means faith of freedom from awe and reverence. So that yeah. one considers the life, the mind, the intelligence and the dress of the beloved to be one with one's own. Wonder. You see, everything is everything in the beloved. <laughs> you have to read and read. Uh, you will find everything is there. Uh, is also gifted. Thing is this and that. I think the point which Tarun made, that's why Baba is writing here in this uh, commentary, that Radha is the cause of the savour of Krishna. She the is savor, the cause. Yeah, the taste, the taste. Mm. For the taste, the sa savior. How, how it's called in English? In my English, not savor. 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 The savor. Yes. So this she is expanding in different different rasa. Sapaksha, bipaksha, this, that. So that his test is always increased. Also also it is I don't know which purpose is written, but also it is said that actually Rasa Vai Saha Krishna actually enjoys this very much when Radhika is taking the leading role. But this is, like I said, this is, this is very, very deep, deep stuff. <laughs> honestly, one thing more. The Darcy also feel very radical. Uh, 
Krishna feel, but the manjiris are also radishing. Krishna radish only, Radha's love. Radha only radish Krishna love, but manjiri radish, both of exchange and their love. Their love. So they are more fortunate. So Gurudev, could we say that the ground jewel, the Rasa dance, is called like that because Radharani let him relish in this Rasa, in this Lila, all mellows together. Ah, that the point. Yes. This is the all mellow that he not become testless. <laughs> What test you want, he can that. Where is he will go? Only he sees there. <laughs> this is the beauty of Satis. How they are kind. Sama Sifu. So they have a natural. Sakhi so has a natural love for Krishna. It is natural because he is a Raj, Radhika expansion. And Manjiris are received from Gurudev, so he is a Dadsi expansion. You see, our Gurudev is Dadsi expansion. <laughs> expansion. Manjari Bhav, our Manjari Bhav is Dasi expansion and this Sakis are directly Radha expansion. Mm. But Gurdiv, isn't it wonderful what happens next? <laughs> Everyone is dancing with Krishna, but he is not satisfied. He leaves and he only searches for the one. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I hate Kikirpa. This is Kripa Sadhya. No sadhana. No nitya siddha, sadhana siddha. They are Kripa Siddhas. Only by the grace is happening. By grace, something you receive is a very valuable. By effort you achieve is not value. I effort and I get it. But without doing nothing, you got it. <laughs> that is the speciality of the expansion. Manjiris. They have a chance. To serve to Sapaksha, Vipaksha, Surit Paksha, Katastha Paksha, all they, they serve because they see Radha everywhere. So fortunate. And by trick, he always arranges. and plan for the happiness of her Swami. This is the service of Dasi Manjari. What a gift to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu give to us. We are fortunate that we are Gauriya Vaishnava.
one thing, little we are dry. Honestly, I say. Because our Acharya said, you have to prep. If you become in, realize you are there, huh? you start living in your Siddha there. But live like a sadhak, that you still sadhak there is there, and you have to do always chanting, always listening, bhajanam, and chanting. Never leave it and try to keep yourself engaged in this and meditation in Sami. This never leave. So they, they fix this, our acharyas, to, to keep it conscious. When we come back to Sadak there, if this preparation is there, easy to go inside the there. So outside it will look very dry <laughs> to the others. Mm -hmm. But it's for us to us. It looks very dry to others. If you see the Siddha Babas, they are very look dry. But other Sakhi Bhav people, they are more rusty and more open. But our Acharyas control us. Never identify that you are in Sadak Deha. And Siddha Deha, you identify that you are Sadak Deha. Careful with that. Always keep it chanting. When you will come back, you don't know. You keep chanting, you keep listening, you keep always that easy to move there. So it looks a little dry. <laughs> but it's for our benefit, you see, every president teaches us like this. Gurudev, this morning I was reading something in Stavavali number three. There is mm. one very nice, very nice verse, which is very nicely fitting to the subject matters. Have I permission to read it? Yeah. It is from it's really, really wonderful verse, and it fits perfectly. From Das Goswami's let me check. Aspirations, very wonderful. Swa Sankalpa Prakasha Stotram, revelation of my aspirations. It is in uh -huh. Stabavali 3. And I love this verse. It's so nice that he says three things are necessary for, mm. for Bhajan. Yeah. Anaradya Ratha Padambo Charenum. Anashritya Vrindatavim Tat Padankam Asambhasya Tat Bhava Kambira Chitan Kuda Shyama Sindhu Rasasya Bhagaha. How can anyone enter the Shyam ocean of Rasa without having worshipped the lotus dust of Sri Radha's lotus feet? Yes, first. Yes. This is the first one. Mm -hmm. Without having taken shelter of Vrindavan, second one, where her footprints lie. And now comes the third one. And without conversing with those persons whose hearts are deep with loving feelings for her. Yeah. Mm -hmm. this, this, is, this is my desire when I start my in 60s, 70s, I was sitting and young age, we are sitting together like now and sharing. Sometimes if we start seven, eight after prasadam, 
and the whole night we are sitting and sharing. Mm -hmm. So this is my desire that we make one group that we can share it. It's not a class giving place. This is a place for sharing and realization to grow. Without this, never spiritual realization can grow if we do not share. That is Sajatiya Sangha, my dear. And then Sajatiya Sangha, what is missing point in, in inside, in our practice, we improve it. So Dev, you will you will love what Baba is saying to this topic of Sadhu Sangha. It's wonderful. Wow. Finally, this is the last paragraph explaining Sadhu Sangha. Finally, Srila Raghunatha Goswami says, Asambhasya tad bhava gambira chitan kutaha shyama sindhu rasasya vagaha. Without humbly and submissively conversing with those advanced Rasika devotees whose hearts are deep with feelings for Sri Radhika. How can one enter into the sweet ocean of Shyam? Yeah, oh, yeah. As a result of attaining the association and the mercy of Mahabhagavat's knowledge about Sri Sri Radha Madhava's pastimes can be attained. There is no other way. Rasa yeah. is Svanubhav Gamya, only attainable through one's own experience. And it is only attained by the mercy and the grace of the Rasika Bhaktas. Yeah, oh, yeah. Thus, we hear so many orders from the Mahachan, such as Sangena Sadhu Bhaktanam Rasika Sankaranginam. Rasa can be relished when one takes pleasure in the company of Rasika devotees. Yeah. Those whose hearts find attachment to and pleasure in the attainment of the company of Rasika Bhaktas are easily able to relish Brahma Rasa. Yeah. Hence, Srila Thakur Mahashoy has written Rasika Bhakta Sange Rahi Bopiriti Range. Bracha Puri Vasati Koroya Prema Bhakti Chantrika. I will always lovingly and blissfully stay with the Rasika Bhaktas living in Braja. Yeah. Because the Rasika Bhaktas experience these flavors, they are able to bestow this relish to others only by their grace. Those who do not experience this transcendental matter can never transfer this relish unto others. Srila Thakur Mahashai echoes this. Again, again, right, read this. Yes. Uh. Because the Rasika Bhaktas experience these flavors. Yeah, that point, experience. They are also able to give this relish to others by their praise. That to do, that to do, my dear. We have to relish. <laughs> we have to listen and relish and give to us. That this is my wish. This has to grow. First to relish, listen, relish, and give to others. Give to others. This is our love. 
Read again. Yeah. Because the Rajika Bhaktas experience these flavors, they are also able to give this relish to others by uh -huh. their grace. Mm -hmm. Those who do not experience this transcendental flavor can never transfer it to others. Yeah, oh, yeah, oh. So there is a, this is the qualification, realization, qualification is realized, is nothing else. And this is a hate kicker. This is Srila Thakur Mahashoy writes in Bhakti Prema Bhakti Chandrika Jaya Jaya Radha Nama Brindavana Yara Dhamma Krishna Sukha Vila Sera Nidhi Heno Radha Guna Gana Nashunilo Mora Khana Vanchita Kurilo More Vidi All glories to Sri Radha's holy name whose abode is Brindavan and who is the jewel of Krishna's blissful pastimes. Fate has deprived me because my ears did not hear the songs glorifying Sri Ratha. Tara Bhakta Sangha Sara Rasalila Breme Katha Ye Kore Seipe Ganasyam Ihate Vimukaye Tara Kapu Siddhi Nai Nahi Shuni Yeno Tara Nama Anyone who associates with her devotees and who always discusses her Rasika loving pastimes will them with them will surely attain Ganashyam. But whoever is against this will never attain perfection. Let me not hear his name. Uh -huh. The target of Bhakti Sadhana is to relish the sweetness of the beloved deity. Anyone who wants to be blessed with the savor of the great ocean of sweetness, Sri Sri Shyama Sundara, should worship only Srimati Radhika. He should take shelter of Prachadama and he should associate only with great. Rasika devotees. These three things are mandatory. What this, again? Again? Yes. Repeat. Anyone who wants to be blessed with the savor of the great ocean of sweetness, Sri Sri Shyam Sundara, should only worship Srimati Radhika, take shelter of Prajadam and associate with the great Rasika devotees. Yeah. Yeah. These three things that are that's mandatory. Uh, this light is not that dark. Two lines. Yes. Two points are very important. Yeah. 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 And then it goes on. These three things are mandatory. This is the path of Raganuga Bhakti, the mm. greatest gift of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, which was practiced and preached by the six Goswamis headed by Sri Sri Rupa Sanatan. This is from Stavavali 3, it is called Svasankalpa Prakasha Stotram. Fantastic 
I love this very much. Ben, ben Baba, right, Roop Sanatan is a sadhak there. Sambandha. When he writes Rupa Raghunath, oh. is a Sarupavish. Yeah. Does this see the beauty? When he says Rupa Sanatan, then Sadak they have donkey. And since they have an evil talk, then he will say Rupa Raghunath. Yeah. Rupa and Rati. Read. Tika is finished, Gurude, from this verse. Rup Sanatan, what is it? Not okay. The, then comes verse number two. This was the end of the uh, commentary. I can read the beginning. Rup Sanatan, what he is telling. These three things are mandatory. This is the path of Raganuka Bhakti, the great gift of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, mm. which was practiced and preached by the six Goswamis headed by Sri Rupa and Sanatan. And then this is the end of the Tika. But I read the last paragraph. There are two more. <coughs> wow. You see, we take this three things he said. First is Radha takes shelter of Radha Rani. Second, Vrindavan, dust of Vrindavan. Third is Rasika Bhakta. <laughs> and you are making, even in Germany, this Vrindavan by this association. Mm. Baba is quoting a verse from the Radharas Sudanidi. Very wonderful verse. 80. Anyone who gives up the service of Sri Radha, desiring only Govinda's personal company, is like someone who wants to enjoy the full moon without the full moon night. Oh. And anyone who does not know that Rata is the cause of Sham's pleasure is like someone who only gets a little drop of the great ocean of nectar, which is actually available to him. Chilaraguna Das Goswami has written, Worshipping Govinda without honoring Sri Radha is nothing else but conceit and false pride. <laughs> uh -huh. Sri Radha is the source of Krishna's love and pleasure. Mm. In uh, Govinda Lilamrita 1112, Ka Krishnasya Pranaya. Jani Bhu Srimati Radhikaika. Who is the birthplace of Krishna's love? It is Srimati Radhika only. Therefore, what endeavor could be more ridiculous than trying to enter into the Shyam Ocean of Rasa without worshipping the dust of Sri Radhika's lotus feet? And then Baba is explaining the second, second important thing. Shall I continue? Yeah. 
Secondly, who can ever enter into the Shama ocean of Rasa without taking shelter of Brajadam, which is marked by Sri Radha's footprints? This Sri Vrindavan is the place where Sri Radha's Puttast is being worshipped. Although Krishna's friend Uddhava from Tvarka is the very form of transcendental knowledge and wisdom, he prayed that he could take his next birth as a blade of grass in Vrindavan so that he could get the dust of the gopi's lotus feet on his head. Uddhava's prayers in the Sri Bhagavad prove this. Asham maho charana renum chusa maham shyam vrindavane kima pigul malatau shadinam. Who can enter the Shyama ocean without taking shelter of Rajadam, the greatest holy place of ecstatic, passionate love of God, where the embodiments of transcendental, passionate love, the Mahabhavavati Gopis, headed by Mahabhav Swarupini Srimadhi Radhika, no. rush towards the Sham Ocean like the strong currents of the Ganga and the Jamuna. Hence, now comes a very, very important point. Hence, Srila Rupa Goswami Pat has written, Kuryat Vasam Brachi Sada Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu One should always live in Raja. Those who are unable to live in this Raja which is marked by Sri Rata's footprints physically, can attain the same result. Those who are unable to live in this praja, which is marked by Sri Rata's footprints physically, can attain the same result, which is the mercy of Sri Rata's footrest, by living there mentally. This is a very wonderful hope. Srila Prabhupada, Prabhupada Nanda Saraswati has said, Rata Padanka Vilasan Madhura Stalika, Rata Vihara Vipine Ramatam Manome. My dear mind, always find pleasure in Radhika's play forest Vrindavan, the sweet place which is marked by her footprints. This is first and second. Beautiful, beautiful. This week you stop. Goravani, sorry if I Goravani, sorry if I hijacked the, the, the reading. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no, sorry, not you are expanding. Excuse you are expanding like Radharani is uh, giving all kind of relish to Mohan. I had also my three points, which I didn't finish yet, but the first was uh, Radha is the cause of the savor of Krishna and of course of all who take part in this Rasa dance. 
Brother Rani is letting him relish, that's the second point, all kind of mellows. That's why it's the ground jewel of the rasas, because everything is combined, all kind of rasas. It's like a big feast, big festival, big feast when you serve a many, many dishes, different tastes. And Radharani is the river Ganga. She is flooding the banks, both banks of her families also. That means even to them, she is giving full pleasure, everything. So, and in this flow of Radharani included, there are also oceans because she is the ocean of elegance, she is the ocean of rasa, she is the ocean of all her qualities are oceans. So in this river, there are included oceans and also lakes. In oceans, there are a lot of waves and lakes are a little bit more peaceful. They are also inside of this Ganga River. We may meditate what means that. This was the three points. I think everything is uh, very nicely combined in that topic. It's just the overview of the of that what Ananda Das Babaji said actually in this verse. I just want to give the overview again that we can remember these points. Read, read, read. Read the lines of Baba's line. So the verbal root means to worship. So Radhika means the girl who is the greatest worshipper of Mohan. Without Raseshwari, Radha, the queen of Rasa dance, the dance cannot give pleasure to Mohan. Just two people cannot make a festival complete. For a festival, you need many people. Yeah. So Krishna played his enchanting flute to invite millions of gopis to the Rasa circle. Sri Radha is the cause for Krishna's savoring the flower, uh, the flavor of his pastimes to taste. And all the other gopis are serving as additional ingredients to that taste. In Sri Chaitanya Charit Amrita it is said, Sri Rata is certainly worthy of her name because it means supreme worshipper, because she makes rasa rasika, Krishna, relish all the mellows of the rasa dance by going to meet him in the company of all the different kinds of gopis. Now there are the different kind of gopis here, Swap. Paksha, Vipaksha, Surit Paksha, and Tatashta Paksha. The word Sura Tarangini in the text refers to Sri Rata, who is like the river Ganga flooding both of her banks with her powerful stream that has become even more forceful by being filled with the monsoon rains of nectarian passion for his beloved. So the Ganga is over flooding because of the monsoon rain, the passion of Radharani. In the Ganga, there are no lakes and oceans, but in this Surat Tarangini Ratha, there are both 
oceans and lakes. Her eyes are like fishes that restlessly swim in the ocean of ecstatic love for Mohan. While she goes out, her eyes look around restlessly. Where is my Mohan? Ah. Her breasts are like two reddish chakravaka flamingos that stand in the nectar lake of her transcendental body. All these things can be understood only when one gives up one's identification with the material body and accepts the transcendental mood of the gopis. Sripad prays, O Radhike, may the waves of your splendid mercy meet in me. So we may pray that this Surantarangini, this river of love, may put the water in our heart. Not the normal Ganga. So maybe I read again the verse for the O Shri Radhike, you are your eyes are like sweet fishes that swim around in an ocean of rasa. Aha ha your breasts are like two chakravaka flamingos in the nectar lake of your body. O oh, Suratarangini, Ganga river of love, O oh, enjoyer of love play, of love play, enjoyer of love play, your face is like a blooming golden lotus flower. May the waves of your splendid mercy meet in me. So maybe somebody has a question or some comment on that more. Beautiful, Dharmani. Beautiful. Beautiful. This is a good subject to go deep. I have to meditate more. In this Somebody writes here, I have a question I would like to hear more about the Chakravaka Flamingo, if possible. <laughs> well, that's a deep, deep subject. Gurudev is just going on toilet, so maybe I can put out some points. We're not going so deep, but at least give a hint. If you have a nectar lake, Radharani's body is here described as a nectar lake. Just imagine that for a moment. 
a lake full of nectar wonderful uh, a wonderful scene a lake full of nectar and in this lake chakravagi flamingos too are standing because of the color this reddish how you say pink or reddish pink they will be visible at once right in the lake so will they they will visibly burst out in radharani's case it is the love actually which is in the breasts which are compared with this flamingos and they are also like chakravaka they are always looking for something even the breasts are looking for something not only the eyes mm. they are also looking for something for what they are looking that they can do some seva they want to do a seva because they are filled with love they are full of madanakya mahabhav so they want to burst out wow. in which direction we can imagine <laughs> so maybe gurudev can say something more about this point maybe you have to repeat them what do you say after this repeat one more time please may I? So the question was about the chakravaka flamingos in the nectar lake of the body of radha and i was just saying if you imagine a wonderful lake which is representing the body of radha it's a nectar lake it's just not an ordinary lake it's a nectar lake where all the qualities of the body of Radha are combined. So if we imagine this scene for a moment, it is already a wonderful scene, undescribable. The nectar lake of the body of Radha is lying there in front of us. And in this nectar lake, standing two chakravaka flamingos, Flamingos are like red or pink, reddish. And of course you can see them, them in this wonderful sea, in this nectar lake. Because you see them immediately bursting out of this vision. And this, these two Chakravaga flamingos are compared with the breasts of Radharani. Your breasts are like two Chakravaka flamingos. And these flamingos are filled up with the feelings Radharani has towards her beloved. And they want to surf. They are ready to surf and they are looking for their object. That's why they are compared to Chakravaka flamingos. First of all, you can even see them immediately. That's why um, Krishna could actually take the Govardhan what was giving the power so because of this power which are in these two chakravaka flamingos he could actually lift and keep them for seven keep them up for seven days so the glories are on radharani's side and this scene we can see in this uh, in this uh, lake 
This is actually what I said, Gurudev. So maybe you want to add or correct. Yeah. But can you give me some time for more realization? Next next week we will share it. Yes. Realization. I will try to realize more. Because one Brajivasti also says something on this. So I will say you by realization I can share this is a very deep subject. Nice, nice. Uh, Gaurvani, I want to share what I was meditating only shortly, not something substantial or deep, but I was thinking um, her eyes are compared to the fishes that are, you know, very unsteady. And we know that her eyes are always looking, where is my beloved? Where is my Shah, my Mohan? And this is the ocean, uh, because it's always in movement. It's always moving for the beloved, for the pleasure of beloved, searching or also giving the sidelong glance. And I was thinking um, the lake is something that is more steady. The lake is not moving. It is clear. You can see through if the lake is very uh, soft and calm, you can see everything. It's like deep standing uh, waters. And so I feel that her chest is like a deep, strong, you know, fixed energy that is uh, holding the beloved. Only two things that came to me that I wanted to share. Thank you for this beautiful choice of the verse. Thank you all for sharing this. There is another question. Maybe we can, uh, maybe Guru, if you can answer this. Uh, there is a question about gopis are expansions from Radha, and the mandris are there, are there expansions from the guru? I heard that this. I heard that. Is that right? Um, can it be? Did I understand that in the right way? So this is the question. Question of Dasi, I say. Dasi Radha's Dasi. And maybe if the Radha Dasi become guru, then it can be also possible. But it should be Dasi of Radha. Sit in that, uh, in that, that meaning of that. Real Dasi can give you Manjali. Dasi is important. Practice of Dasi is not there. Dasiva will not. Bhagavani, <laughs> I remember a verse in the Chaitanya Chaitamrita where he said that all. The Swarupas of every Gopi are expansions of Radhika. Kahi Vyuhas, right, Suniti? All, all, all bodies, all Swarupas of the Gopis and Manjaris are expansions from Radhika. It is also said that the Rup is given by Radharani, true. But we are talking of the body. The body is a, the body is a spiritual body. Gurudev yeah. is right. You know that the spiritual master is revealing the body, but the form is an expansion. The form itself is an expansion of Swamini. 
Yes. Yes. So, so it because can be given. In the mood of Darcy. Yes, 100%. It's totally, it totally has to be practiced in that river. Yes. And uh, Saki has to practice in friendly nature because she has a service for Krishna also. So she has a two mood, different mood. Saki has a different mood because uh, it is an expansion and Dasi Radha also mercy of Radhika kept flowing as a Dasi that she can take care of the Saki also and Radhika also and to everyone. They are lowest. They cannot disrespect even the uh, vipaksha or uh, tattasa. Or they have to respect everyone. This is the Manjriva. They have to pass these examinations. Maybe they not go there, but they will not talk much against them. Mm -hmm. Like uh, Raghunath Das Goswami is not going in the uh, place of Rasa Stali because of this is the place of uh, what is your name? Chandravali. But But at the same time, she knows that she is a Radha. So he said, but she knows except that mood of Chandra Avalina. But, but respecting, no problem. And no meditation, like to bring that. But the, the teaching with this food. Ek nisa, more to bring it, but they are respecting all sectors, the qualities of Radhika. But this quality, you know, I read like a, yeah. But thank you, Arsi is the star. Oh, Acha. To see you also nice together and hear your so beautiful good. words. Yeah. It's just fantastic. One second. I just wanted to say something about that in general, what fits always. Every last time you hear, when you go in Samara and you first do imagine, right? When you hear, for example, our dear Gauravani, uh, when he was speaking about this pastime and he was reading it, first you go in the imagination. And image, imagination means there's a word inside that is image. So you paint, you paint an image in your meditation. And that is a taste. We all taste it, right? That's really a nice taste. And when that, and when that reveals, when that reveals to you that image, that's in higher taste. And when you realize it, that's the highest taste. This is what I feel when I when I listen to this, when we hear about these beautiful playtimes. That is like always they these three points, and the highest is the the highest taste is the realization. When you really 
experience it. Right? Yeah. Yeah.